Hi, it's me again. And you know, the BBC never shuts up about needing to save money, does it? Even though they get 3.2 billion quid a year from TV licence fees, they never shut up about needing to save money. Which makes the story I'm going to talk about today a bit odd to me. Because, you know, if I needed to save money, one of the things I would do is say, stop eating out, for instance. Stop going to restaurants and cook at home, where it's cheaper to eat. So how does this story make any sense at all to you? Have a look. Antiques Roadshow, Songs of Praise and Young Musician of the Year to be put out to competitive tender. So two of those shows there are two of the big BBC brand names, aren't they? Antiques Roadshow and Songs of Praise. Big names for the BBC. Especially Antiques Roadshow has been going donkey's years and it gets good viewers. And now they want to put it out to be made by third party companies. How can that possibly be cheaper than making it yourself? There's a difference between eating at a restaurant or making a lasagna at home. Isn't it? It's the difference. How can that be cheaper? How can that be cost saving? It doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. And surely the big name shows that the BBC have they should make themselves, shouldn't they, rather than put out to tender. And don't forget they've got BBC Studios. What's BBC Studios doing in all of this? Why can't they make it? You know, and then sell it to the BBC. At least it's still under the sort of BBC umbrella, even though I don't agree with the commercial companies being branded as the BBC, obviously. It doesn't make it doesn't make a lot of sense. And I've got a document I talked about it was probably two years ago on this channel. This document, it's, it's a little bit out of date. I'm sure the prices have changed. I can't get the new document because my BBC contact no longer works at the BBC. But while he was there, he did send me this document and it tells us how much the BBC pays for shows that they put out to tender, shows that they buy in. So I thought we could have a, another quick look at this together and see if we can find out how much they'll be prepared to pay for Antiques Roadshow and Songs of Praise. Because it doesn't say yet. It says here, where are we? We will publish invitation to tenders for Antiques Roadshow and Songs of Praise next month with the invitation to tender for Young Musician of the Year to follow later in the autumn. So I can't find out how much they're going to pay until next month. So once I do find out, I will let you know. But this will give us a fair idea. So let's have a look at this together, shall we? So this is the BBC tariff range of indicative prices for the supply of commissioned television programmes. Quite the snappy title, I think we can all agree. Right, so for comedy shows... They will pay for the main stuff 160,000 to 700,000 pounds an hour. That's their premium comedy, obviously. Right, so the entertainment tariff, they'll pay between 20K and 750K per hour. Drama tariffs, the BBC, if you make shows for the BBC, they will pay you 50,000 to 1 million pounds per hour if you make a good drama series. How about that, eh? We're in the wrong business, aren't we? Uh, factual tariff, probably under this one, isn't it? So factual tariff, is 30,000 to 500,000 pounds per hour. Per hour. So it could be FL2, which will pay 125,000 to 170,000 pounds per hour for Antiques Roadshow, which is an hour long, isn't it, I believe? I haven't watched it in a very long time. So they could be paying about 100,000 pounds per episode for that. And just so we finish this document off, look, children's tariffs, they will pay 50 to 550,000 pounds per hour. And that's the, yeah, that's the end of the document. So, yeah, I think you'll probably fall under FL2, wouldn't it? FL2. So probably around about 100,000 pounds an hour. And they couldn't make that at home cheaper. No? They're very good with your money, the BBC are. So if you're interested in reading this tariff document, because it is quite an interesting document, actually, and it's not something you see every day, is it? And it interested me. I will put a link to it below. I'll put it up on the website or something, and I'll put a link to it below so you can have a look. You can have a look yourself if you want. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think stuff like that the BBC should be making at home rather than eating out with it? Because it will save money. And they're always banging on that they need to save money, aren't they? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And, you know, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you do that, hopefully, I'll get to see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da!